Okay, hi guys, my name is Holly. Um, I'm one of the Zone 1 senior keepers here at Wildwood. Um, and I'm stood in front of our pine martin enclosure. Now that's probably an animal that you haven't seen on your visits to the park before. And they can be quite elusive. Um, so they, you do have to be quite eagle-eyed to spot them. Uh, they've got this fantastic, uh, quite tall enclosure. It looks like it's a cat enclosure, to be honest. And there's this really interesting um, set of tunnels that kind of go around and through. And they've got a really important reason as to why we put them in, which I'll explain about a little bit later. So the Pine Martins that we currently have in the park, we have three. So we have two girls uh, and one boy, but they're all housed separately because they're not social animals. They wouldn't get along very well at all. Uh, so we have a really young female called Boost. She was bred here at the park. Uh, we have a, a, a slightly older female called Iona. Uh, she was bred elsewhere, as was our male, who is called Oban. Uh, Wildwood has a really successful history with breeding Pine Martins, and we really hope that in the future we can continue this uh, and, and build on it to breed even more Pine Martins um, for, for captive breeding. Uh, that would be really positive. So our breeding or hopeful breeding pair uh, would be Iona and Oban. Oban's the new kid on the block, so he arrived in lockdown number one uh, in the summer, um, and he seems to have really settled in really, really well. Uh, he lives next door to Iona at the moment, so if you've been to the park uh, before, you'll see that they're sort of stacked side by side. Um, and that's so that we can, uh, we can introduce them in the breeding season uh, nice and easy, although that's not necessarily how it goes with Pine Martins. They can be quite feisty. They're little animals, but they've got a big attitude. Uh, so in breeding season, that's normally around midsummer, so between June and July, that's when the males and the females would come together in order to mate. But like I said, it can be quite feisty. So there is a lot of noise, a lot of fighting. It doesn't always sound very nice, uh, but that is, um, tends to be what you like. It normally means there's a, there's a successful pairing if they're scrapping and they're noisy and it's, it's a little bit dramatic. Um, so that's where the tunnels come in. Um, so we have to introduce the pair slowly. We have to really observe to make sure that the pair is compatible and that they're paying interest to each other. And thankfully we did have that with Oban and Iona in the summer. He's a little bit inexperienced with females, so we'll see how he goes for the next couple of years. Um, but it all looked very positive and we're hoping uh, that he'll be the dad to some of our new kits very, very, very soon um, in the future. 